VR is one of the biggest advancements in the modern technology, and with it becoming more available to the average person every year, people often find themselves asking what headset they should get and don't even consider the games that they can get. So I decided to compose my own list of my top 5 all-time favorite Quest 2 games after about a year in VR. Without any more delays, let's get right into it. Also, just an FYI, this list does not include games like Super Hot and Beat Saber because honestly, those are just must-haves. Enjoy the video. Rec Room is a free, fun-to-play game that offers thousands of player-made games. The wide variety of games and the fact that it's crossed with pretty much every console and even mobile devices puts it on this list, as it is free to play and you don't even need a headset to play it. Rec Room also has the ability to build your own games, which can be really, really fun. However, there is one thing about Rec Room I just cannot ignore. No, 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 don't read it. The squeaker. These little rascals will ruin VR for you, and that is no exaggeration. They're likely just some Josh Dub stand that got a VR headset for Christmas, but trust me, they will happily scream No No Square at the top of their small but very powerful lungs. All in all, Rec Room is a really fun game, and the fact that it's free and crossplay puts it at the number 5 spot on this list. You really just can't own a Quest 2 headset and not play Rec Room. At the number 4 spot, we have Echo VR. I'm not gonna lie, Echo VR was the first game I ever played on my Quest 2, and I immediately fell in love. Echo VR is a mix of soccer and ultimate frisbee, and zero gravity. There are two goals on either end of this huge court that is straight out of Ender's game, with two teams of three trying to get the disc through the opponent's goal. Echo is super easy to get lost in, and is even more fun when you play with friends. With a large multiplayer base, you'll meet all sorts of people, and even if you aren't feeling super social, that's okay because Echo has many modes to choose from, such as playing with against an AI, which is super helpful to train and avoid any unwanted contact. Overall, Echo VR is an amazing free-to-play game that easily takes the number 4 spot on this list. At the number 3 spot, we have VRChat. It's hard for me to put into words what VRChat really is like, because the experience is really different for everyone. VRChat has thousands of player-made avatars and worlds for you to meet people, and trust me, you will do just that. If you go into VRChat knowing what it is that you're looking for, you are guaranteed to find it. As the large variety of worlds to choose from, you will more than likely come across people with the same or similar interests as you. VRChat is honestly one of the most fun games that you can download, as it is free, and getting together with your friends in movie theaters, cafes, cities, and pretty much anywhere you can imagine is one of the most free feelings you will ever get in VR. One of my personal favorite things about VRChat is the fact that it's crossplay with PC, meaning that your friends can hang out with you even if they don't have a headset. Though, just a quick warning, if you see an avatar of a green brush, run. <laughs> At our number 2 spot we have Stride. Stride is honestly the most amazing early access VR game I have ever played. The game will make you feel like a mix of John Wick and Spider-Man, as you're essentially a free runner who has to take down bad guys, complete tasks, and find hidden areas. There are hundreds of combinations of game modes to choose from, from simple speedrunning as a force field creeps up behind you, to intense action-packed fistfights. Stride offers so much for just a simple concept, and they've also announced that they will be working on multiplayer and a new story mode. The game is only about a year old and is already a huge hit in the VR community, and with a price tag of only $15, you will not regret spending it. Now for number one, the one and only Population One. Population 1 is a huge Battle Royale style game with so much to unpack. I myself am not a huge fan of FPS games, but Population 1 has so much more to offer than the standard shooter it's almost impossible not to address it. One of my personal favorite parts of the game are the climbing and building mechanics. In Population 1, you can climb anything, and I mean anything, which adds a whole new character to the game. The building mechanics and reloading mechanics are also super super fun and add so much personality to the game which just makes the experience all the better. With a very active and healthy community, the game never gets boring as the map changes regularly and there are always events and updates constantly being added. While it is a bit on the pricier side of things at around $30, trust me when I tell you it will be the best $30 you will ever spend for your Quest 2. With that ladies and gentlemen, my list of my favorite Quest 2 games is complete. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you found it useful, be sure to leave a like and a comment as it really does help out my channel. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.